So unlike the last time that we came, they have a station specifically for you and they have all the flavors that are available to try here so that you don't have to move around, which I think is pretty smart. So first one on the list is Italy and we're starting off with a drink called Beverly, uh, which is from Italy here. We're gonna try it. traveling the world one adventure at a time to broaden our horizon and gain new experiences. After some much needed time off, back in Houston, spending the holiday with families, we're back in Nashville and ready to go exploring again. But before we do that, let's catch you up. Okay, so last week we had one of our very good friends, Keish from Costa Rica, come into town and we did a lot of exploring around downtown Nashville and we shop, 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 shopped and we did more shopping. <laughs> but one thing that they did without me is that they went to Atlanta to um, the world of Coca-Cola and they actually did some more shopping there too. Once again, we're in Atlanta, Georgia. Melanie didn't come, but my friend Keish back there did. We're gonna go into World Cup Cola once again for the second time in the year, because uh, he hasn't experienced yet. So we're gonna go ahead and go in. Like the last time we came, uh, they are giving out the little soda cans. Gonna take it home. This room actually has a lot of history of the Coca-Cola. I think it's pretty awesome going through here and actually seeing all these things in person because there's bottles that they use to create the formulas for the Coke. And if you haven't been to Coca-Cola uh, through this experience, you have to if you come to Atlanta. But we're gonna continue on with the experience. By the way, I don't think I said where we are, but uh, we're actually in the vault top room, which is basically their secret room. And uh, I mean, they, they kind of do have secrets, but uh, it basically shows the history of Coca-Cola and uh, how they made the glasses, what ideas had to be made for all that to happen, all the their drafts of. Stuff. And yeah, it's, I mean, you have to go through this. You, you can't just not go through it. So, one cool thing about this room is that the original formula was stored in. It's stored in a little box in a vault. It was transferred here in 2011, but previous to that, it was at Glade Bank here in Atlanta where nobody really knew where it was. So it's really undisclosed location in the bank. Nobody really knows where it was. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, if you ask me. So the room that we were just in was the vault. Now we're in the milestone of refreshments room, which basically has all the history on the drinks around the world. Uh, glasses of coke, anything that has to do with coke, artifacts, uh, like pictures and stuff, all that history is placed in this room. Also one thing that I missed uh, on the last time that uh, that we came, if you haven't seen the video go watch it, uh, I kind of go more into depth of what everything has or what everything is here, but one thing I actually did miss is that this vehicle right behind me 
It was an actual vehicle that was used back then to distribute Coca-Cola products around the world. And I'm not sure where this one specifically was uh, located at, but it's pretty cool that it's here. Uh, it's just one thing I missed. they make the coke at. Uh, remember in our other vlog um, where I showed y'all how uh, like that the bottles were moving and stuff? Yeah, um, not today, but it is uh, still cool to walk through here and see everything that takes place in order for us consumers to have a bottle of coke. All this machin machinery right behind me is what makes all that happen. So unlike the last time that we came, uh, we went through the different stations and they served it for us. This time around though, they have a station specifically for you and they have all the flavors that are available to try here so that you don't have to move around, which I think is pretty smart. So we're gonna try all of them. I think some of them are the same as the last time, but some of them are different. So we're gonna try all of them. So first one on the list is Italy, and we're starting off with a drink called Beverly, uh, which is from Italy. We're gonna try it. Not something I would get, but it's not horrible. I mean, it's okay. Next one on the list is Sparletta, or Sparletta, however you say that, is from Zimbabwe uh, in Africa. It says it's Sparberry flavor, so we're gonna give it a shot and see if we like it better than the Italy Beverly. Alright, time to give it a shot. This time I didn't put that much because uh, I think the other one just went to waste if I didn't like it. I'll get some more after. But we're gonna give it a shot. Let's see how it tastes. I actually like this. It's really good. I'm gonna sip on the rest of this and uh, go on to the next one. All right, before we go to the next one, we're gonna switch cups because this one is, uh, it has a little bit of uh, all the other two, the other two that we tried. So we're gonna grab a new cup and we're gonna go for it. So here's the new cup, and now we're placing it here and going for it. By the way, this is from Peru. It's called Inca Cola. I think I tried this the last time we came, maybe. And that's what happens when you pay attention to the actual cup. Let's give it a shot. It is from Peru. It already smells really good, and I'm liking the smell of it. It smells like pineapple. Kind of looks like pineapple too, but uh, okay. I think it has a little bit of flavor that I was thinking of, uh, which is the pineapple flavor-ish. Okay, now it's time for the one that I actually tried the last time and I did not like because it was super strong. I think, if I remember correctly, that's what it was. But this one is called Stony Ginger Ale, or. Stony Ginger Beer. It is from Tanzania. All right, here we go. Let's see if I like it this time. So it doesn't really taste as bad. Or maybe I was just thinking of something else. Anyways, let me uh, finish this one and we'll go on to our most wanted Fanta. Just kidding but it is Fana from the country that I was born in, which is Costa Rica. And we already kind of know how it tastes and I already know I liked it, or that I like it. So I might skip it, but I might not because I want some.
This stuff is so good. If you guys ever go to Costa Rica, please get some of this because this is really good. I actually miss it. Alright, so the next one is the one that he told me that it does not taste really good. Which one? What do you think? Which one? The Japan? This one. No, that's cool. That's cool. The Sweden is... Oh, sorry. No. Okay, well, we'll give it a shot. Okay, he, he's gonna show you off. Very good. It's like a, it's a combination of I don't know apple and carrot. Yeah, but it's very cool. Apple and carrot. You guys, you guys. Have heard it from the guy from Costa Rica. The best, of course, that it is Costa Rican drink, colita. Very cool, and I'm very proud of because it's originally from Costa Rica, exclusively. So, Costa yes, it is originated in Costa Rica. That's why it's called colita. Colita, colita. Colita. You gotta say it with a Hispanic accent, I guess. But it's really good and I highly recommend it. I can't say it enough. The best. Is the best. It, it is the best. We're gonna continue on to the, the one that he tried. See if I like it. And then we'll go on to the Swedish one, which he didn't like. But I think I liked it last time. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. So this actually tastes like uh, carrots and apple. It's not too bad. It tastes like an apple juice kind of thing. It's really good. Okay, now on to the one that we don't, that he didn't like. Let's see if I like it. To the Swedish one, which is called Bajar or something like that. Uh, let's just try it and see. But honestly, it tastes like cranberry. Uh, yeah, it just tastes like cranberry, basically. It's sweetish, so I'm not entirely sure. All right, last one. All right, last one. Uh, this is Joy, based in Japan, and it is from Munich Made, which is part of the Coca-Cola. It's really good. I enjoyed it last time. I do remember this one. So we're gonna sip on it and continue the tour. So we are probably gonna end the video here, but we will see you back next week when we are in a warm environment. We can't tell you where yet, but you'll just have to stay tuned for next time.